We are at a point where we must do something to correct the chronic health problems that all Americans face. Look at where we are today. 40% of our nation's kids now have a diagnosed chronic disease. 31% have diabetes, prediabetes, or insulin resistance. We are going to release dietary guidelines that are four, or five, or six pages long that are understandable, that are simple, and will allow people to make good choices about their food, and they will begin to change America almost immediately. The Trump administration is working around the clock to tackle the chronic disease epidemic, and it's not doing it alone. The program Musculo is using integrative AI technology to address the physical and mental health needs of those living with chronic diseases through one-on-one -on -one coaching. Musculo approaches personalized care through five pillars, nutrition, sleep, physical activity, relationships, and stress reduction. Joining me now is Musculo co-founder, Dr. Deep T. Jane, and Musculo board member, Frida Lewis Hall. Good morning to both of you. Uh, Dr. Jane, I wanna start with you. How is interactive AI technology tackling the issue of chronic disease? Cheryl, thanks so much for having us here to talk about our company and to talk about this very important topic. So at Musculo, we address chronic condition by really focusing on wellness. And you talked about those pillars of wellness. They are just so important when it comes to managing chronic disease. And as a physician and as a doctor and a spine surgeon, I can say that actually the doctors don't have time to talk about these very important topics. And so we really need to go beyond and find another way to address these topics. And so I'm so excited that America is really starting to prioritize wellness because it is so critical to the treatment of chronic conditions. And so at Musculo, uh, we used a combined approach to addressing wellness. We use an AI technology as well as live coaching. And we have found that this combination hybrid approach Approach is just so important when it comes to addressing accessibility as well as extending the reach of clinicians and we do that by partnering with our health plans. It's so important doctor I'm so glad that you brought that up and Frida to, to you how do you think that this approach overall for the company differs from how we're seeing the mental treatment side approached in the country? Well, I'm really excited about the opportunity to talk about the way in which we marry those two elements. Um, we talk about, one, having a trained coach um, that is in interpersonal connection for uh, the patient on these very important topics, and an AI platform, which we call Mac, um, which is informed by leading experts and citable literature in the field. This combination allows us to really address, both with time and scalability, the causes of anxiety and depression, which are often exacerbated in patients who have chronic illnesses, or their chronic illness is made worse by the fact that they have the um, depression or anxiety. So this terrible cycle, we believe, can be broken by the connection to a coach which gives them personal and personalized human um, attention on, a on an ongoing basis, and AI, which is empowered to give answers that become more and more personalized as uh, they get to know each other, if you would, to address some of their unique and specific um, needs. I'm so glad that you brought that up, that connection between chronic disease and mental health. I don't think that that's really talked about enough. And, and Dr. Jane, what significant results have you seen so far? So I think you um, have shown some great, amazing statistics. I mean, we've seen a substantial reduction in flares when we look at our AI population. We've also um, measured mental health outcomes. Um, actually, I think they're not necessarily mentioned there, but we've looked at mental health outcomes and we've seen substantial improvements in um, standardized measures of these mental health outcomes that we follow over time. Um, so it, it's really exciting and really important, and we've gotten just such amazing feedback when it comes to patient experience and patient satisfaction. Um, and so these, these topics are, are very important in addressing chronic conditions. And at Musculo, we treat a multitude of different chronic conditions and follow them and, and follow patients through their care journey. And we showed our viewers that, that statistic, a 35% improvement with depression, 33% improvement with anxiety. Again, that correlation, I think, is, is crucial to, to bring up. And, you know, RFK Jr., 
he's had to testify before Senate Finance uh, to a, a really highlight the accomplishments on the MAHA agenda. A huge part of that is ending chronic disease, along with eliminating environmental toxins, exposing corporate corruption, protecting natural habitats, advancing regenerative agriculture. Dr. Jane, how do you think Americans overall can make better health decisions? It's something that's been very, very important to, uh, to RFK Jr. and to the Trump administration overall. And I would say that that agenda, specifically around addressing chronic conditions and wellness, aligns squarely with what we do in Musculo. Um, it's not just about prescribing more medications. It's not just about doing more surgery. And I say that as a surgeon who, who does surgery all day, every day. It's also about addressing the root cause of what these chronic conditions are. Um, and so we're fully aligned. and so excited that America is taking that step to prioritize wellness and all of those pillars of wellness in addressing chronic conditions. Uh, all right. And Frida Lewis, uh, Hall, your last word here, please, ma'am. Well, again, I think that it is important to remember that wellness isn't just for the well, that um, people with chronic diseases are really focused or can be and should be focused and supported in pursuing their own wellness through um, better sleep, better physical activity through nutrition, and focusing on uh, managing their stress and their personal relationships. All right. Well, Frida Lewis Hall and, and Dr. Jane, thank you both so much for being here with us this morning. It is so important. We know we're going to hear more about it uh, later today uh, in Washington. Thank you so much.